When fishing popped up bread, it's very important that you are fishing bread popped up. Because many people, if you compress the bread, it's not popped up. You think it is, and you're sitting there and your bait's on the bottom, so it must be popped up. Um, I always take the crust um, and punch it, so a crust will always float. And I've punched it there with a meat punch, and it hasn't compressed the pellet. And that I know will definitely float. I can even give it a light pinch, put it onto my needle, simply then push it onto the spike, and there we have it. And that will definitely float. Very easy and very simple. And if it was compressed, and it was just a normal white slice, it will not pop up. It will sink to the bottom. That will always stay afloat, and it stays on the spike a lot longer. Another way, I pull that piece of crust off there. Another way, using the white bread, so a fresh white slice, not the crust. Now, they, Two little punch discs are puffed up. Now, a lot of people get them and compress them together. Put them on the baiting needle. Put them onto the spike. Pull them on. Cast them out, but they, nine times out of ten, will sink. It's very rarely that they'll float. Now, a very simple way so you know they're definitely floating, is I've got some little discs here that I've cut out of polystyrene. If I take one of these discs and I just make them smaller than the disc of bread that I'm punching. I'm probably punching a 10 mil piece of punch here and the disc is probably five mil in circumference, so it's hidden by the bread. And I sandwich it between the two discs, like so, and then I put my baiting needle, put them on. I shan't put them onto the spike, but then once they're pulled onto the spike, I can compress them together. So I pull them off the needle, compress them together. But that polystyrene is between them and that will make them float. And those two discs will puff up slightly, but they will float because of the polystyrene disc that's in between them. Very effective way of making sure that when you're sitting there, you know your popped up bread is popped up. Very simple system I use, it's interchangeable system where I can fish a straight lead or an open ended alloy feeder. And the advantage it gives me, especially when I'm fishing matches is, there's a lot of rules, different places you go to, but mainly the rule is you can't, in a match, cast out a feeder before the start. So if I want to get my distance, I will put a lead on and cast out and then I'd put my feeder on. This way I can keep the same setup but apply both methods by simply pulling off at the top of my stem on this interchangeable system, it's in line, I can just run the main line through my lead and run the feeder straight on to my peg, put the cap on, I can cast that around to get my distance or find out what the lay of the bottom is on the lake or where I'm fishing. And then, if I'm going to fish a feeder, I just pull the lead off, turn the feeder around, the alloy feeder, you can see it's got a slit on the back, and push it into position. And straight away then, I'm ready to fish the feeder, as opposed to I was fishing the lead. Very simple and very effective. Now as you can see, the feeder I've chosen to use is very small. That's the large open alloy. You can see it's a lot bigger. Now a lot of you may be thinking, oh yeah, use the big one, get some bait in there. But when winter comes, when you're fishing the pole, you would change your pole pots. Like come winter time, I'll be using a small pot like this. Hence why I'm using a small open-ended alloy. And just to demonstrate, the amount of feed that I'd feed with that if it was winter time, I'd just scoop some bait in the pot here, is that much. And if I was to just tip that into the feeder, 
very similar amount that you're feeding. So you're feeding next to nothing, but you're just trying to get the fish or a few of the fish there just to feed a little bit. Because they're not all going to feed. Once it's cold, you're chucking or putting your bait, as I'm throwing a feeder or if you're on the pole, you're putting your bait in between fish that don't really want to feed, but you want to try and tie some of them to feed. And at the same time, you don't want to be putting too much bait in so they can be fussy. So you want them to take your bait in amongst the bait that you're offering. And if you're putting too much in, it makes it so much harder. Very important when loading your feeder. I mean, we're fishing and it's winter time. I've got a very small feeder on, but uh, we've done some filming earlier in the year out with Rob Hughes, uh, and some of you that have probably seen it, that I was convinced that when the feeder was hitting the water, the bait was going down to the bottom. But no, it was, most of it was coming out on impact because it wasn't pushed into the feeder firmly enough. Now, I can't stress how important it is to press that feed in the feeder so as when it lands on the bottom, your loose offerings around your bait, I'm going to show you to load it in a minute. Very important. And obviously the, the deeper the water, the more important it is. I mean, it's winter time here and we're fishing up against cover that's only probably about three foot deep. So the feed was to come out, if I didn't load it correctly, it would then fall down and land virtually where my feeder is. But if it was probably eight foot deep there, it wouldn't because my feed would be clipped up, pulled away. The feed would drop down where the feeder landed and then my hook baits away from the loose offering. So very important that to do. Um, I'll mix what I've got here. I've got some Hinders 2.3 feed pellets with my supercharged margin mix and it's 50-50. And the reason I've mixed it 50-50 is if it was just pellets, I feel it would overfeed the fish if they were feeding. And with breaking up where we've got 50% ground bait, 50% pellets, the ground bait's next to nothing. So there's no great um, food content in there to fill them up. And it just makes it less of an offering on giving them as opposed if it was all pellets, then it could fill them up much quicker. And it's a very effective way of loading your feeder and it looks nice in the feeder. And I think it just works. It keeps all those little bits, keep active on the bottom there. Whereas if it's just pellets, a small particle bait, they could pick up and it's gone. But with a little bit of ground bait in there, there's always something hanging around in the water. And I think it just keeps the fish there around uh, the area that you're fishing. But just simply loading it, I just pour a little bit on, because obviously it's a small feed, and it takes some it, compress it more so than what it would have normally after the uh, insight when we've done the underwater filming with a feeder. So I'll compress that in, then I just lay the hook bait on top, two dead reds, and then I just sprinkle a little bit more on top, just to slightly cover it, and then just press that down, and there it is. Simple and effective, and when it lands on the bottom, the fish can home in and pick up my hook bait and fish on. As you can see, I've got a variety of um, hook lengths here, um, bands uh, with a spike and just the normal hook lengths and different size. I mean, these you can buy already in the shop and I can just transfer them into my hook boxes. Um, but these here are 12 inch in length. I've tied some here uh, with a spike, fishing popped up bread. Um, then I've got some longer ones here with a band uh, for fishing pellet um, or a wafter. As you can see there, I've put one on there on a shorter hook length. It's just trying to cover all the different um, situations you'll come across. There's a piece of corn on a spike on a short hook length that I can fish on the method. Um, and then there I've got two dead red maggots on a short hook length uh, on an 18 hook but just covering all the different situations you need to use different baits for the method that you're fishing and very important winter time to have all the hooks pre-tied to save time and so you can cover all the different baits that you're going to use. <laughs> 